Hi, my name is Chris. I'm from South Africa. Today I want to tell you something about screwdrivers, especially the cross point screwdrivers with cross head screws and cross head screw bolts. Now, to give you a little bit of background, I've been maintaining my own vehicles for more than 40 years, and I've always had a problem with these when they were tightened fast or rusted stuck. And I own urban screwdrivers made in USA, very high quality. But no matter what you do, when that screw bolt or screw is stuck, the Phillips always camped out on it and it damages the tip of the screwdriver and it damages the screw bolt. Now, more recently during the COVID pandemic, I decided to rebuild my 42 year old Suzuki motorcycle. And trouble started earlier on when I had to remove crosshead screw bolts from the engine casings. Now, remember, they've been sitting there for 42 years. They were new, original, untouched, unmarred, no tool marks on them, but they were really stuck. So I decided I was going to use my no name brand Taiwanese made impact driver, which had Phillips tips on them. And after I've destroyed five of these crosshead screw bolts, Without being able to take them out, I realized something was seriously big wrong. So I got on the internet, I googled, went on YouTube, and then I found out that you cannot use Philips on Japanese products at all. Even if the Japanese product is made in another country, you cannot use Philips screwdrivers or impact drivers on Japanese products. Now to explain this, I'm going to go back a little bit in history. Um, the Phillips patent started in during World War II when all the countries were building, building aluminium aircraft and they needed a self-centering screwdriver which the Phillips crosshead offers but they also needed it to cam out. So when the screw was in tight at about 2 newton meters the screwdriver had to cam out and this was to prevent the steel screws from stripping in the aluminium plate. I mean you don't want your air plane to fall apart halfway in the sky because all the screws are stripped out. So they designed it to come out so as to prevent the steel screws stripping in the aluminium plate. And then many, many years later, in 1969, the Japanese decided they like this crosshead design that doesn't spin out, but they're going to redesign it so that it doesn't come out. And they shortened the tip of the screwdriver. They made it much squarer, all the angles. I'll show you just now. And also they made the, the screw heads shallower and square. And this allowed them to really tighten up things. And also it was lovely because they could now torque crosshead screws and crosshead screw bolts 15, 20 Newton meters, whatever they wanted. And this invention is called Jap Japanese Industry Standard or Japanese Industrial Standard, more correctly, or JIS for short, which is the abbreviation and commonly known as JIS. Very few people know about this, even worldwide. In South Africa, certainly nobody knows about it. Okay, and I then came across the manufacturer of these screwdrivers in Japan. They're called Vessel. Uh, they've been making screwdrivers for more than 106 years. So if you think it's just, just the other day Jap crap stuff, no, it's not. They make the best screwdrivers in the world and you can YouTube and you can see what the actual users think of vessel screwdrivers. Once you use them, it changes your life, your whole perspective of undoing or fastening crosshead screws and crosshead screw bolts. And the nice thing about the vessel JIS screwdrivers is you can also use them on Phillips. So you don't need to go and fetch your Phillips screwdriver because that's going to come out on you anyway. Just use the Vessel JIS screwdriver. So now I'm going to show you what these work like. Okay, first of all, let's see how to identify Japanese industrial standard screws. Um, they normally got a dot on them like that. And that's to indicate that you're not supposed to put a Phillips screwdriver in here. Because this is very square and much shallower. Sometimes you'll come across JIS. There's another one with a dot. And sometimes you'll come across them, you can see the squareness, but no dot. So you've got to start identifying them. And these you'll find on everything made in Japan, even if it's made in another country. Um, they'll use JIS screws on them. So Canon printer, 
uh, Canon or Nikon cameras, they go down to zero, tiny, tiny screws, but all square like that. And all your computers from Asia, if you flip the, the laptop over, you'll see it's Japanese industrial standard on them. And if you own a KTM, the older KTMs use Makuni carburetors. Although the carburetor says KTM, it's a Makuni. You need JIS screwdrivers to open them up and to service them or replace uh, the needle and seats and stuff like that. Um, even the older Harley Davidsons, they use Kian carburetors from Japan. The carburetor says Harley Davidson. You put a Phillips screwdriver in there, it'll strip it out. So you have to have. Japanese industrial standard screwdrivers to operate and service them. The modern KTMs, like the KTM 990 and onwards, they use Japanese fuel injection systems. And you'll see the dots on the screws um, inside the, the air box and fuel injection system. They're everywhere. And um, yeah, so next we'll move on to the other details. Okay, so let's just look at the tips of the screwdrivers first so you can see the difference. The Phillips, you can see there clearly, is much, much longer. There's your JIS screwdrivers. And if you can't see that difference, um, sorry, I'm going to have to tell you just plain dumb. The, in other words, the JIS screws are much shallower and they are much squarer. If you look at the engineer's drawings of a Phillips versus um, JIS, you'll see the Phillips has got a rounding in the middle there and the, the blades are tapered whereas the JIS has got square square blades with a square center there as well. So JIS is designed not to cam out, Phillips was designed to cam out. And if you stick a Phillips, this long nose Phillips into a JIS screw, that's your result. This is a Yamaha 2W200, TW200 motorcycle the oil filter housing screw they were all stripped out like that um, even on your your brake fluid um, reservoirs even if you drive a Harley Davidson even if you drive a Buell motorcycle even if you drive a BMW motorcycle or even if you drive a, a KTM it's all JIS they use Japanese uh, Asian screws there and you need a JIS screwdriver not to strip it out. So let's look at the screws. Okay, this is from a Toyota Hilux pickup in South Africa. It's a GD6, the latest 2023 model. Um, at the tailgate, there's a little arm when you open the tailgate, a hinge type arm that holds the tailgate up so it doesn't fall all the way down. It's got um, two of these bolts on each side. It's a screw bolt and it's JIS. So if you take a JIS screwdriver, um, Okay, I must mention, I have to mention, this is 4.2 millimeters deep versus the Phillips is 7.1 millimeters deep. There's a huge difference, difference in depth. And if you use a JIS screwdriver on it, insert it nicely, nice and firm, and it'll actually stay there. It'll hang in the air like that. If it's a Phillips, it'll just simply fall out. Even if you super, super magnetize it, it's not going to work. And this bolt being outside and being exposed to the weather elements is normally rusted. So if you need to work on the pickup, say you want to do modifications or the tailgate is smashed in and you need to take those out, you have to use a JIS um, screwdriver on it. The nice thing about the JIS is you can go straight to Phillips like this there and insert it. And you can work the Phillips perfectly without camera. It goes in all the way. Okay? There. Yeah, perfectly. And you can even use it on Posi Drive. It fits Posi Drive slightly loose, but you can, a little bit of pressure from behind, it won't damage the Posi Drive. A Phillips will just strip immediately. So this is one screwdriver for everything. So if you come across a crosshead screw, you can use a JIS. Um, Vessel in Japan does make a posi drive screwdriver. This is a posi drive tip there. Always a focus problem. So if you want to be perfect on a posi drive, you use posi drive on it. But you can use in an emergency easily without causing damage, you can use a JIS screwdriver. 
Okay, another feature, a nice feature about the JIS screwdrivers is that you can use them on stripped out screws. I'll demonstrate this to you. This is size 2, this lot here. And these are the ones, you'll see they, they're totally destroyed. They are absolutely knackered. Um, as long as the camera will focus there for me. Let me just turn around a bit like that. Yeah, You'll see there's almost nothing left of it. I can stick the screwdriver in it like that. And you can still work it perfectly. And there's another one. Totally screwed out. Uh, stripped out. Completely stripped out. The screwdriver will still work it. It's a bit difficult with the phone in my hand and the screwdriver. This one as well, you'll see it's it's just like wrung out. Completely wrung out. Um, and then that one, last but not least, is barely anything left of it. Put the JIS in it and it'll still work it perfectly. You just keep it square, put a little bit of pressure on the bat, not a lot, and you can you can turn it in and out as much as uh, as much as you like. Like that. Okay. So if you like the video, like and subscribe, like everyone says, or visit my website www.satooltraders.co.za. Next time I'll tell you more about the different models of screwdrivers and the different unique functions and features. Um, you'll see there's some red ones here, there's some silver ones, there's some brown ones. These are 70% wood, um, some blue ones, some more red ones, and different tips as well for even um, positive slotted screws. These are also a big frustration on planet Earth. And then also bits for drywall screws or gypsum board screws. In Afrikaans they say Gipsbord, but more about that in another video. Cheerio, bye bye.